Ladies and gentlemen, the Oneeders. It's the Wonders. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a few weeks since I've talked about where we're at in the process of moving to the Netherlands, and I wanted to give you an update. Right now, we're currently not doing much. There's a fine line between having a lot to do and also having to wait until our actual move date. It's weird. There are a lot of steps to take, but at the same time, after we've gotten a number of things lined up, we kind of just have to wait to be closer to moving. Initially, we talked to a relocation service in the Netherlands and didn't know exactly when we were going to move. Our original idea was to homeschool our kids here when the next school year starts. We would move to the Netherlands at some point during the school year, continue homeschooling for the rest of the year, and then enroll the kids in an international school. We were informed that school in the Netherlands is compulsory and we legally wouldn't be able to homeschool the kids for any amount of time. We learned that school is out for the entire month of December over there, so our best option would be to fly over on December 1st and enroll the kids to start school in January. That made December 1st our official move date. We currently live in Southern California, but are originally from the Seattle area, so we decided that we would go up to Washington in the middle of November to visit family before the move and spend the Thanksgiving holiday. My wife and kids will fly up and I will drive one of our cars to give to my mother-in-law. I booked a flight for all of us out of Seattle to Amsterdam on December 1st and booked an Airbnb for the entire month of December over in the Netherlands. We also have a dog and a cat who need to be transported internationally. In order to do that, you need to have a pet relocation company facilitate the transportation of your animals. I booked a company that will have our pets flown over in a climate-controlled, pressurized area of the plane. I was afraid of having the pets fly in the cargo area, but the airline they'll fly on doesn't do that. The pet relocation company will make sure they get through customs and are examined upon entry into the country, and I will pick them up from the airport. The only thing I still need to organize as far as moving over to the Netherlands is to have our belongings shipped over. We aren't taking any furniture, and we're getting rid of as much stuff as we possibly can. We will each have a large suitcase to bring on our flight, and then we will have a handful of boxes that will be shipped over. The hard thing is that I can't get a quote on shipping our belongings because I'm not exactly sure how much stuff we'll have to ship. We have been slowly selling some things and donating others, but soon we'll need to pack up the items we know we're definitely shipping so I can get a count of how many boxes it is. Only then will I be able to get an accurate quote to have the stuff shipped. We plan on finding a furnished rental, and when we eventually buy a house, we'll buy new furniture then. That way we don't need to buy furniture for the rental and then have to move all that stuff again when we buy a house. We really don't want to move furniture again if we don't have to. My wife and I need to go to AAA and get international driver's licenses, which will allow us to drive once we get to the new country. Other than that, everything else we need to do will happen in the Netherlands. You don't need any visa to enter the Netherlands for up to 90 days. You have that 90 days to apply for a residency permit. You can technically start the process before you get there, but it's much easier to do it over there. I have to have a bank account with at least 4,500 euros in it to apply for the permit, and I need to be over there to open a bank account. The nice thing is that you have 90 days to apply for the residency permit, but you don't have to be accepted to stay longer than the 90 days. As long as you've started the application process, you can go over the 90 days. Honestly, for a self-employed person from the US, the Netherlands is one of the easiest countries to move to. They may be stricter for other types of visas, but for my specific situation, it's very simple. We will also be applying ahead of time for the international school our kids will go to as well. That will determine what specific area of the Netherlands we'll live in. Right now, it looks like we'll be in The Hague. Once we're there, we'll find an agent to help us get a rental convenient to the school. We'd love to not need a car, but if we do, we can find something small. So, pre-move, we had to book our flight, book an Airbnb in the Netherlands, book a pet relocation company, schedule our belongings to be shipped, apply for our kids' school, and get international driver's licenses. Once we're there, we'll find a rental, open a bank account, register my business, and apply for a residence permit. 
It's important to note that with the type of visa I'll be getting, my wife will not be allowed to work in the Netherlands. If she wanted to go over there and be able to find a job, I would need to get a self-employed visa and she would need to get a family reunification visa at the same time. But we don't want that. We're going to the Netherlands with no plan to take any jobs away from the current citizens. We will be taking away housing, but I will be adding my income to their economy, so I hope that makes up for it. I don't want to be a burden on whatever country we move to. Doing a big international move is kind of like a puzzle. You have to get all of the parts to fit together, and sometimes you have to stop and wait before you can start putting pieces together. So right now, we're in a bit of a holding pattern. We will be packing up some of the things we are definitely taking with us over the next month or so. That way we can get a quantity so I can get a quote from a moving company. We aren't taking any furniture or housewares, just mostly things that are irreplaceable. Mementos and pictures. I have a handful of books that are out of print, but the rest of my books I'm going to donate. I'm taking my records because my collection is pretty small right now, but I'm not taking my stereo or record player. They have those things in the Netherlands. I have to take my computer, my lights, my camera, my microphones, all of that with me when we fly over, so those also won't be included in what we ship. Once I have the quote for moving our personal belongings, I'll make a video discussing the cost of the move. If you have any questions about me personally or about my upcoming move to the Netherlands, you can leave them in the comments. If you like these videos, hit subscribe and you can continue on this journey with me. Thanks, and be safe.